Hi, this is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne. Today we're making a storage box, especially for fabric that will fit on a bookcase that has shelves that are only 10 and a half inches deep. Of course, the box could be used to hold other things too. When I was putting together my studio, I had bookcases that were great because they were vertical and they didn't take up a lot of floor space. But it was difficult to pull fabric out and to find the fabric I was looking for. Most storage boxes just didn't fit. They were either too small or too wide. So I designed this box and it works great for holding all kinds of fabric and fat quarters. So let's make a storage box. Tools and materials. One piece of acid-free 20 inch by 30 inch foam board. A hot glue gun with glue sticks a craft knife, tape measure, pencil, white duct tape, that's optional, or you could use colored duct tape if you like, cutting mat or other surface that is safe to cut on. If using an especially good or new mat, I suggest cutting on the back side of the mat so you don't damage the gridded side. 24 inch hard acrylic ruler and a 3 by 12 inch would also be helpful paper template or a piece of tape that measures one inch by three inches. To begin we know that the short side is 20 inches so we're going to measure up nine and a half from one of the ends and this is going to be the bottom so I'll mark it nine and a half on one end nine and a half near the center and nine and a half up on the opposite end. And now you will need some kind of a straight edge to lay across those marks from the end, one side to the other, and you'll draw a line. Or if you have a knife you want to cut right now, you can go ahead and cut. Staying on the line is good. Before you move this hand, make sure you're popped apart. So that's our bottom piece. Now with the remaining piece, we know that one direction is 20 inches and one direction is 20 and a half inches. So the 20 and a half inches is the length of the side. We're going to cut, measure and cut three pieces that are four and a quarter inches by 20 and a half. So I just double check and make sure I'm at 20 and a half. And then I'll measure over from that end to four and a quarter, slide it down toward the middle, four and a quarter, and then to the other opposite end, four and a quarter. And you can use some kind of a straight edge or your ruler and draw a line or Again, you could just cut it without drawing it. For the second side, I'll just go ahead and use the piece I just cut, line it up on all three sides, take my pencil, and draw a line. Take 
my ruler again, lay it on the line. And cut. One more time. So we have two long sides, and then we're going to measure this to make our two short sides, 9 and a half, and I'll just measure in from both sides now so that I can just do the cut all at one time. Now we have all four sides, and next I'll show you how I put the window in one of the sides. For the little cutout on the box, I will use the template and either make a little piece of paper. I just use some one inch by three inch tape. And I'm going to tape the tape measure and measure at two and a half inches in from the end of one of my sides, my long sides and I'll stick the tape right about there. Now you can measure and get this exact, but this is just for seeing what fabric is in there, so it doesn't have to be all that perfect. Then I'll take my pencil and just draw a little line around it. And I'll do the same thing on the other end. Measure in two and a half inches. Lay the tape or the template approximately there. Again, mark around it. Then I'll take my tape measure and find the center point between those squares and that's about four and three quarters. So I'll find four and three quarters on here and put my tape about center. And that's about four and, th four and three quarters. And I'll just draw around it again. And if you want them all lined up, you can lay your ruler on them. Even as you're cutting them, you could do that to make them in a straight line. Once you have them marked, You can do it freehand or use a ruler. Just lay it on the lines, poke it in at the corners, draw down to the next corner, and do that on all four sides.
And then you may have to cut it twice to go through all the layers. And there's one of the little openings. When we put the box together, we're going to start by putting the sides on. And what we're going to do is the lower edge of the side, not the bottom, but actually on the inside face, we're going to put a bead pretty thick. You want it to stay cool long enough to get, excuse me, pretty thick. We want it to stay on there long enough to get it on the side. And then just line it up and push it down. Push it down this way and in toward the bottom. And do that with both sides and then you're ready to go for the long sides. We're going to do the same thing with the long side. On this side time, for the long side, we're going to lay the box on its side and put a very thick amount of glue all across the edge quickly as you can being sure you don't run out of glue stick And then we're going to lay the side, long side on, matching on one end, and then set it down and very quickly push it and line it up on all the other sides. Flip it on its end. Do the same thing for this other side. Line the side up with the top. Nope. Now you're going to take it and give it reinforcement on the inside. To do that, I'll just put the hot glue gun down inside there in the corner and squirt some glue in there. And then I'll do it on the inside edge. And I actually like to do it all around the bottom edge as well. Then when this goes in the bookcase, you might want to put felt on the bottom of it so it slides easier back and forth. If you want your corners to be a little neater, perhaps, you can take white duct tape, or you could use any color. If you have fancy jazzy duct tape, you can sure use that. But I have white, so that's what I'll use. And I'm going to cut a piece. I'll actually use my grid for this. My side was four and a quarter inches, so I'll cut it 
one, two, three, four and a quarter approximately. Just eyeballing that. And I'll lay this piece on the side and wrap it around. make the edge look a little more finished. So now I have my box. It's nice and reinforced and has its little windows. And I can take my fabric, fold it up, and what I like is fat quarters fit in here really, really well. I hope this will inspire you to make boxes that will better store your fabric and use your space. This is my own hand painted fabric and if you'd like to learn how to make this fabric you can see the lesson at Curious.com slash Fiber Designs by Anne. This is Anne with Fiber Designs by Anne. Thanks for watching.